do one at the table first. I'm going to have everybody sit at it. And then we'll take the tables away and I'll take a couple of this. Marina, if you could turn your chair as well, just a little bit. Yeah. The involvement of actually sharing both experience and uh, teaching them at the same time. Because they're all going to learn, especially getting into this uh, competition. It's a time for them to, to actually shine and think outside the box. I know that there's a lot of food lovers in this city that, you know, they're always coming up and talking about that they have this, you know, special family recipe or something else. So I think this is going to be a great opportunity for a lot of people who have been sort of shy and kind of hiding. I'll be in a line, but if I have uh, you and Matt on opposite ends, oh. and then you guys towards the center, and we'll just make it a little bit of a curve, not too much. Empire. You know, in terms of uh, uh, classic recipes or classic and modern versions of it. Because a lot of that is, is also a lost art. And uh, as we generations pass, we're, we're losing a lot of those, uh, a lot of those uh, traditional and like, older recipes. And uh, either they're being changed for something else or then they're losing you know, the authenticity of it. So I'm just interested to see what people are doing. To show them that, you know, the average person who just has a passion and love for food could, you know, grow with it as a future and a career and, you know, be a chef one day or just even a really great home cook is amazing. And especially that it's from Sudbury, you know, this is my hometown and to come back here and be a face of, with along with so many other great faces that represent the, the culinary industry here in Sudbury, I think that's amazing and to be part of that, I couldn't say no. Well, thank you. We're happy to make you again.